feeling kind of nervous. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. No, I, I want people to know what happened. Okay, I, I guess I met him on Facebook. Uh, he messaged me saying I was cute and asked me if I was single. Um, he kept calling me beautiful and um, we kept talking for a few weeks. And he finally asked me on a date, so I said yes. Um, he took me to a fancy restaurant, and it was so romantic. He made me feel like I was the only girl in the world. And after that, he, uh, he took me shopping and bought me anything and everything that I wanted. Jewelry, purses, all these fancy clothes. He made me feel like I was a princess, like I was his everything. I thought he was so perfect, but that's, that's how I got sucked in. I wasn't really seeing my friends or family, but I loved him, so it didn't really matter to me. And that's when we started partying more and started drinking and doing more drugs. But then the drugs started getting harder and I thought I was in control, but I guess, I guess I was wrong. It was, it was about two, maybe three months later when he, he started getting angry with me and saying that I owed him. And by that time, I had lost my friends and family, so I couldn't really ask anyone for help. I was, I was scared, so I, I just, I did what he told me to do. I did things that I never thought I would do in my life. You're doing awesome. I never, I never pictured myself living like this. People, people like me, they don't choose this lifestyle. It's not easy or glamorous as media can portray it to be. I hope, I hope people see this and think about the reality that people like me are in. There are so many people in Edmonton that are in the same situation as me. And I want people to have compassion for them. Take a moment now 